Hi guys, in this video today we're going to talk about how you can be more effective with your serve, how you can hit a little bit of spin on it, and what kind of speed you should be aiming for. Now this is something that we get asked a lot and it came up in the community when we were asking a question of what you guys would like to see more. So in this video we're going to go through a few tips on how you can improve your serve. I would just like to clarify that you can't hit as much spin with a paddle racket as you can with a tennis racket. Now I know that might sound obvious, but a lot of players are trying to hit so much spin with their serves that they're ending up making a mistake or they end up getting a bit of spin but they can't get that accuracy because they're having so much head movement on the ball. So you want to have a little bit of spin, in other words you want to come down that ball slightly just so that it generates the spin so that when it goes to the other end it'll stay low off the glass or low after the bounce but you're not trying to hit a whole load of spin to try and catch your opponent out. Because once they get good at understanding how the ball will respond to the wall, they'll find that easy if it's a higher ball that comes up with a lot of spin and it bounces and it comes off the glass. So the spin that you would use is a little bit of slice just coming down the back of the ball. It's easier if your racket head starts from up here and you can just brush down. Obviously the contact is waist height and below, so you need to hit that ball here to come down that ball and try and keep it low off the glass. A simpler action is usually more consistent and more accurate. When it comes to the speed of the serve, this really depends on how accurate you can be. It's a bit like a lot of the other shots with the smashing or the vibra and, and these other technical shots. If you can be aggressive and still very accurate, then it's okay to do so. But if you're finding that you're gonna hit a fast serve, but you lose that accuracy, you don't manage to hit it so it hits the glass or it goes more central, then it's better that you slow that ball down and you are more accurate. You get that little bit of slice we talked about that goes in to hit the early part of the glass rather than you trying to hit really fast and making it easier for your opponent. The other thing to be aware of is if you can't get that slice and you speed up and it's a flatter serve, then the ball is likely to bounce either off the side glass and then the back glass and come up, or it's gonna come off that back glass. So it's important that you get that slice on the ball first before you decide to increase the speed. A piece of advice for the recreational level is you've got two serves. So you can afford to be aggressive on that first serve, go for the techniques that either you're learning in a lesson or some of the stuff that you've learned from the videos and try and put that into practice on that first serve, going for the glass or down the tee with a nice aggressive serve. And you've always got that second serve as a safety net. But having said that, that is probably one of the most common errors that we see at the lower level tournaments is that players come in with a wild aggressive first serve and then the second serve they just plop into the court. So it's important that you're practicing your technique so that you can hit two steady serves if necessary. Here you see a good serve down the tee with slice and it starts the servers off with the attacking part of the point. But at a high level that can change very quickly so you can see that there's a lot of attacking and defending from both pairs. When we're talking about good serves, think of yourself as a returner. What do you find difficult? Most of the time, players find it difficult when it's got slice and it's low and it comes nice and fast off that glass. So ideally you want to hit in this service box towards the corner so that it hits the front part of the glass, comes off and the returner then either has to play the ball after the glass or they have to lunge and try and play it before. Either way, putting them under pressure. The other good serve is to hit slice down the tee so that when that ball bounces either by the back glass or before the back glass, it's nice and low, really stretching your opponent out of position. So those are probably the two shots you should be working on and the two areas that you should be aiming when you're practicing your serve. Here you can see a good serve against the glass and even though the returner does a good job of hitting the lob, the serving pair, they're really trying to stay in the advantage in the point, trying to stay as aggressive as possible. The best way to practice this, as we've mentioned before, is just to take a basket of balls, go onto the court and just hit a lot of serves. So you might practice your serve accuracy going for either towards the glass or down the centre. Start with, you normally do in a match, side on, the racket back, and you're just going to come in and play aiming for that glass and aiming down the centre tee. That, those are the two most important serves and if you practice them a lot you're going to get more accurate, you'll get more confident and then you can learn to be a bit more aggressive trying to hit a little bit more speed going for smaller and smaller targets.